We are back at 744 with the joyride that surprised even seasoned police officers. Take a look at this dash cam video from a cruiser in Plain City, Utah, as an officer chased down a suspect driving erratically, running through two stop signs. The chase lasted for several miles, and when the car finally stopped, a seven-year-old boy got out ran out actually from behind the wheel his name is preston scarborough he is with us exclusively along with his parents daniel and melanie and his sister london good morning to you all good morning. Good morning. what good morning. a day last sunday was for this entire family dan if i can start with you you're downstairs it's around 8 8 30 in the morning you're watching tv melanie upstairs still sleeping you think the kids are upstairs sleeping as well you hear sirens mm -hmm. outside then what happened well, I heard sirens coming down the street, and I actually thought it was Preston getting up, playing a video game or something like that. And so um, the sirens kept getting louder and louder and louder. And uh, all of a sudden, I hear him come across the floor upstairs and come running downstairs and said, Dad, the cops are outside. And I'm like, oh, they're like out in front of our house? And he's like, yeah. So I'm assuming it's um, something happening across the street. So I'm halfway up the stairs, and the cops are at my front door, and I'm trying to find some pants to put on, some shorts or something, and <laughs> and uh, and by the time I did that and was going to the front door, the, the the officers were coming through with a garage door, my back door, and and just informed me that my son had just been involved in a high speed chase. They said, but it was high speed for a seven year old, I guess. Yeah, but I mean, so. it was no joking matter. He, he went on for several miles, right? He left your house, went north. Police tried to stop Preston. He take took turns down various mm -hmm. roads, ended up at the high school parking lot, and then came back. Absolutely. And and to be honest, for us, it was... It, it Now, we saw the video the day before yesterday, and that was really the first time that it became... started to become a little bit funny to us, because for the first two or three days, it, it, we could be sitting here for a lot different reason right now. And, and so we're, we're happy it turned out okay, and we're grateful. And if we could get anything out there, it's that, you know, a cotton candy, all-American kid like Preston... Can, it can happen to anybody. Get behind the wheel yeah. of the car. Preston, you ran downstairs, right? Yeah. Why? Why'd you go hide in the basement? Because I wanted to. Yeah, I, I don't blame you, actually, after taking the car for a joyride. When he came back upstairs, Melanie, what did, you, what did he tell you as to why he would do this? You know, he, at first he didn't know. He said, yeah. I don't know why I did it. And then he did tell the cops that he'd um, did it because he didn't want to go to church, but later he did tell us he just wanted to know what it felt like to drive a car. So, he did it. Well, obviously you've never driven a car, right? How did you know what to do? Watch my mom you and watched, my sister. Yeah, but how did you even see over the steering wheel, Preston? Were you kind of standing up and doing it, or how were you driving the car? Sitting down. Yeah, and when you when you heard the sirens behind you, did you think, I am in trouble. You did. You clearly knew the, the police were coming after you. So why didn't you stop the car then? What made you keep going? Hmm. Just what, you wanted to get home? Yeah. Now, Preston finally did get home, and as you said, it, it's, not a, it's not a laughing matter. Um, I know that you did take him to church that day. We did. You, you went we to church and, yeah, and, and prayed for what? And prayed for safety, I guess, you know. I mean, we're, we're extremely grateful that he came home because, in, 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 and as it is light now, it was very heavy on us at the time and, and for a few days and, and still is. Um, you know, we see him go through those stop signs and it, it could have been a, a, a tragedy, not only for him but for somebody else. And, and I can't imagine having to yeah. say I'm sorry to somebody else for my son doing this. So, so. What, how are you punishing? There has to be re repercussions, right, <clears throat> Preston? Yeah. Why don't you let Preston tell you what the... Yeah, what is the punishment? Grounded to my room for four days, no TV, no video games. Do you think that's fair? Mm-hmm. You do? Do you now understand what you did and that mm -hmm. maybe it wasn't the smartest thing? Mm-hmm. You going to get behind the wheel of a car again? Mm-mm. Mm-mm? -mm. Just model cars maybe from now on? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I, I'm at a toy car. <laughs> Little cars from now on, yeah? Yeah. And London, what do you make of all this with your little brother? I don't know. It's just been like a really big shock. It feels like a dream. It doesn't feel like it's really happening. I mean, it doesn't feel real. Well, ultimately, like you said, Dan, there's a lesson in all of this that, uh, yeah. you know, we're so glad that he is okay. And, and what you said as well, that any little kid, you never know right. what can happen. So thank right. goodness you're still an intact family. And I'll be seeing you at church, buddy boy. <laughs> 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 all right. <laughs> the Scarborough family, thank you so thank you. much.